Tackling Decimal Dilemmas, Multiplication and Division Word Problems. Hello, English learners. In today's video, we're going to take a deeper dive into the world of numbers, specifically decimals. We'll be focusing on a rather exciting aspect, word problems involving multiplication and division of decimals. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand these problems but also be able to solve them confidently in English. Understanding the language of word problems is crucial. We'll start by discussing the key phrases that signify multiplication and division in word problems. Times, multiplied by, product of, typically indicate multiplication, while, divided by, half of, quarter of, split equally, and such phrases suggest division. For instance, in the sentence, John has four times as many apples as Sarah, four times as many, signifies multiplication. Similarly, the pizza was divided into eight equal slices, indicates division. Now let's look at a problem involving multiplication. A drink costs 75 cents. How much will four drinks cost? Here, we are essentially multiplying 75 cents by four. That's $3. The sentence can be written as, four drinks cost $3. Notice the English language usage. We've transformed the question into a statement, allowing us to better understand the problem and its solution. Let's move on to division now. Mary has $2.50. She wants to buy some stickers which cost 50 cents each. How many stickers can she buy? Here, we're dividing $2.50 by 50 cents. Mary can buy five stickers. In a statement form, it would be, Mary can buy five stickers. Remember, understanding the story or situation in a problem is as important as performing the calculations. Practice is key to mastering any skill. Here are some practice problems. Pause the video and try to solve them. One. A car travels at a speed of 0.6 miles per minute. How far will it travel in 5 minutes? 2. John has $3.60. If one chocolate costs 60 cents, how many chocolates can he buy? And that's a wrap on decimal multiplication and division in word problems. We hope this video has made the topic clearer for you. Practice solving more problems to get comfortable with the language and math involved. Keep learning, keep growing, and see you in the next video.